Hi everyone, and thank you very much for joining me. I'm Vicki Murphy. I am a uh, enterprise solutions architect with XVM, which is a platinum solutions partner with Atlassian. In this video, I am going to be discussing some updates to the advanced roadmap shared teams functionality that we will start to see roll out across our Jira cloud instances. Over the next couple of months, um, Atlassian is going to be combining our JIRA teams and our advanced roadmap shared teams. Let's take a moment and discuss what these two different types of teams are. A JIRA team is a team that has been created under the people menu in JIRA software cloud platforms. These teams uh, are given a homepage essentially where team members can uh, view their other team members, uh, get an update on team activity, and you can also put helpful links for that team here. It's sort of a mini team dashboard, if you will. One other really great thing about this type of team is that it can be at mentioned on issues. So I'm going to flip over to an issue here. Um, and if I actually at mention my example team, what it does is it will start to include all of those individual team members here, sending that notification to um, the entire team. Now let's talk about advanced roadmap shared teams. In advanced roadmaps, we also work with the concept of teams, um, and this really allows us to understand and plan our capacity at that team level. And this is a really good example of some of that functionality here. Teams and advanced roadmaps can either be plan specific, meaning that we only interact with them in that specific plan, or they can be shared teams. And a shared team uh, can be accessed under plans. And if you go to view shared teams here, here we have our shared teams in this instance. And a shared team means that you can actually interact with that team value outside of teams. So there is a team field that you can add to your issues in JIRA software. With this update, it will automatically be included on your issues for you as well. Um, and in that field, you can interact with your shared team options. If you have a plan specific team, you will not see that in that teams field. Currently, uh, these two concepts of teams are shared teams and advanced roadmaps and our JIRA teams, or as I like to call them, people teams, because they're under the people menu here, uh, do not interact with each other at all. This is exactly what Atlassian is going to be updating. In the near future, whenever you create a shared team here in advanced roadmaps, it's going to automatically be a people team in JIRA. Um, and this means that they are going to have that homepage and they are going to be able to be at mentioned on issues. I'll talk a little bit more about some of the specific changes we're going to see. Share teams and advanced roadmaps are going to begin to require at least one team member be associated with them. And I'm already seeing uh, this take place in some of our customer instances here. Um, this means that new teams that are created are going to automatically include that team creator um, as a team member and additional team members can be added as well. If you have existing shared teams like you see here, you will be required to add a new team member to them if you update any of their details. And if you do not add a team member in, um, then a default team member will be assigned. Um, I'm actually starting to see a warning that looks something a bit like this in some of our customer instances. It is just calling out that a, a default team member will be added to any of those teams starting on March 20th. 2023. I also see that there is a button to change that default team member if you need to. As this rolls out, any shared teams that you have on your JIRA site will automatically be added as a JIRA team. One thing to be aware of, duplicate teams will not automatically be merged. So if you have any duplicates, you may need to do a little bit of cleanup. Atlassian recommends keeping the team that originated as an advanced roadmaps team. This is going to provide the best data continuity as you go through this cleanup process. That advanced roadmap shared team is likely associated with one or many issues across the instance. So uh, in an effort to not remove that data, uh, but instead retain it, really your best path is to keep your advanced roadmap shared teams, um, deprecate or update any of your um, duplicate teams that are a JIRA or people team here, and then just add those members to the appropriate shared team going forward. Atlassian did say that uh, to identify which teams started as an advanced roadmap shared team, you can use the team header as an indicator. Teams that started as a shared team in advanced roadmaps will have this little roadmap header here, signaling that that's really the team you're going to want to keep if there is a duplicate. 
A couple other things to just call out. Um, this is not going to have any impact on plan specific teams. Those teams will remain plan specific. We will still not be able to interact with them outside of advanced roadmaps, and they will not roll up into a, a JIRA or people team here. Additionally, any of these uh, teams uh, under the people menu are going to be organization wide, meaning for your company's Atlassian cloud organization, um, we're going to see the same teams across the entire uh, organization here. So if you have duplicates across multiple JIRA sites, for example, you may also need to do a little bit of updating and cleaning up as well. That is all for these updates. For any more details on uh, the uh, changes Atlassian will be making, do check out the articles that we have linked in the description below. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.